Hi, welcome to this uh, first coding session. What we're gonna do uh, today is build a binary classifier based on uh, K nearest neighbors to predict if uh, somebody has diabetes or not. So the first thing we need to do is we need to have a Google account. So I'm going to the Google page and I'm gonna log in. So let me log in. Here we go. Once I'm logged in, I'm going to look for the, uh, the Pima data set. So let's uh, do a search on Google. And let me click on uh, one of those links. It brings us to uh, the Kaggle uh, website. And as I mentioned already, you should have a Kaggle account too, because we're going to download a lot of the data sets from uh, Kaggle. Here you see the data set. You can find a little bit of uh, context. If you scroll further down, you can see more information about the data set. So here you see it's a CSV file, a comma separated value file. That prompts us to use uh, pandas for pre-processing. And we have 768 rows and nine columns. These are eight feature columns and one label column. Uh, here you can see the columns, uh, number of pregnancies, blood pressure. Here you can even see the BMI. And if you go down and you, you scroll to the right, you will see that the last column is the outcome. And the outcome is uh, zero when the person is not diabetic and one when the person is diabetic. So let's go ahead and uh, download this data set. You have here a download button and let's click on it. Okay, so now we've downloaded the set and now we go back to the Google account and we will load the file to Google Drive. So here I have Google Drive. Gonna go into the Colab Notebooks folder, click on new file upload and that's where I find the uh, diabetes uh, CSV file in my downloads and I select the download so now what's happening is that we're downloading the file has already finished so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Colab here we are in Colab and um, let's open a new Python 3 notebook. Here we go. And let's give that uh, that notebook a name. So on the left top, we can give it a name. Let's call it Pima Indians uh, K nearest neighbor. Okay, so we've given the file a name. Let me click on this arrow here. And here we're in Colab. And uh, as you can see, when I when I go over such a cell, I can see a text cell and a code cell yeah, on top as well as on the bottom of each line. So I can click on the text cell and write, this is a uh, K nearest neighbor classifier. So it allows me to put text alongside with code and this makes the code very readable. Yeah, you will see the, the notes of this session and there's a lot of uh, text in there explaining what we're actually doing. Interesting for you to know is that because this is cloud-based, we can make use of um, Google's GPU, yeah? fast processor. So you go to, um, to runtime, you click on uh, GPU, so now you have access to Google CPU. And what we're gonna do on the right uh, side, you see connect. We're gonna connect to the, uh, the server over the cloud. Okay, so um, what I'd like to do first is always import some key libraries. Huh? So let's do that. There's three libraries that we will use a lot. So import NumPy, S, and P. This is the linear algebra 
library of uh, Python, then import pandas as pd. We will use pandas for pre-processing and then import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And that's the, uh, the plotting library of uh, Python. So now you can see uh, we can execute this cell individually. So that is done. So um, next thing I would like to do is to uh, mount Google Drive. Uh, um, Google Drive. Let's do a search on Google. Here you will see mounting Google Drive in this code snippets uh, section. And when you scroll down a little bit, you can now see on the left bottom the code that is needed to mount Google Drive. We're going to paste that code into the code cell and we're going to run the cell again. This gives us a link. We will click on the link all the way through and we will get a code here. We'll copy that code and we go back to our uh, program. We paste the code and we press enter. So now we're mounting a uh, Google Drive and when I click on, on files here, we will be able to, uh, to locate G Drive, My Drive, Call up notebooks, and here we should be able to find the di diabetes uh, CSV file. See, that's very convenient. We have access to that file through Google Drive. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna load, we're gonna create a data frame. Data frame equals pd dot. Then we're gonna read the CSV file. And we're going to give the path of that file. So I will go uh, put the cursor to that uh, file and right click and then do copy path. I will go between the two brackets here and then paste that link. Uh, so I will just add a few characters here. And uh, this should allow us to update, let's do upload the file. Here we go. File uploaded. Now let's take a quick look at the file, which we can do with df.head. This will give us the first five lines of the file. Here we go. So this is the, um, the data frame. You can see the eight features here. The last column is the label. And um, we can take a look at the shape of this data frame. The shape is 768,9. So 768 rows, nine column. And this is exactly uh, what we wanted to do. Now, if we take a look at this data frame, there's two basic questions that I wanna ask. Question number one is, is the uh, diabetic versus non-diabetic, um, is that file balanced? meaning are there as many diabetics as non-diabetics? That's important for me to know. And the second thing I wanna know is, are there any missing values? Uh, how will I find missing values? Well, sometimes there's just nothing in that cell. Sometimes there's a question mark, but sometimes people put a zero in as well. So I'm, I'm looking to, for zeros, especially, um, where I do not expect a zero. For example, if I look at woman number two here, skin thickness, zero, uh, that's unreasonable to have zero skin thickness. It's not unreasonable to have zeros in the last column, outcome. It's also not unreasonable to have no pregnancies. So, but I'm, I'm interested in glucose, blood pressure, skin thickness, insulin, BMI, and diabetes pedigree, as well as age. Uh, zero that I see there is likely to point to a missing value. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to clear these zeros. Yeah? 
So let us take a look at um, the types of the data frame. Yeah? When you see the type, most of them are integers, so um, full numbers. And there's two floats, uh, decimals, BMI and diabetes. Huh? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the data type of the data frame to Boolean. Yeah? And that will actually convert all the zeros to false and all the non-zeros to true. And what I'm going to do then is sum up all the truths for each column. So let us do that. DF S type bool. So this will convert the data frame into a Boolean type and it should give us all trues and falses. This is what we can see here. So false is where there is a zero and true is where there is a non-zero. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to sum them all up axis equals zero. So I'm going to look at every row and then add them up at column level. So let's run this. Here we go. So this gives me the, the non-zeros. So let me put it. These are the non-zero values after I convert it to Boolean. First thing I can see is outcome here, 268. So there's 268 people with diabetes. Yeah? So that means that there's 500 people with not, no diabetes. So the data set is not balanced and it's important for me to know so we can take account of this uh, later on. And then you can see, you know, diabetes, age, there's no issue, uh, there's 768. But for example, for BMI, you see 757. So there's definitely some zeros here and a BMI cannot be zero. Um, so how are, we gonna, how are we gonna solve this? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna calculate the median value for each and every column. And then we're gonna replace the zeros with that median value. 